So let me show you um, the OPK uh, option in the Focus Builder app. Um, there are other OPK um, apps out there which are great. Uh, part of the reason why we felt the need to create uh, the one we have here is uh, essentially for uh, the options and uh, direction of movements. This is a really great tool uh, that you can use either for uh, assessment purposes or, but also therapeutic purposes. So you can, uh, here at the very top you see you can actually make the optokinetic um, bars move in any direction that you desire. So let's just uh, make a move from, um, you know, we'll go top to bottom for demonstration purposes. And here I, you can select the color of the bars in any color that you would like. And we're going to go with, um, let's go with red. That's just the one that I always default to personally. Uh, and you can you can change the size. Okay, so we've got uh, five size options. So we'll just leave it on large. And you can also change the speed of how fast you want the optokinetic to move. Um, we also have the option to add a center fixation dot which could be um, useful, uh, especially in uh, suppressing the uh, stimulation of the optokinetic. Um, this could be useful in um, certain cases. And uh, you can change the size of that fixation dot. Uh, we can make it large or very small. And, and these settings can be saved. As you can see at the bottom here, you can also save settings, name it whatever you want, and save it. Um, let's just say here, I'm going to just save it as CN and whoop, it changed it to CB. Look at that. Autocorrect. And I saved it. Now, when they're saved, that means uh, that they will be placed in the bottom right in your saved exercise folder right there. Um, oh, it saved as CN. Okay, very good. OPK. Exercise date that it was saved. And if I wanted to start it, I can start it directly from there. And this is the stimulation um, that I had selected. Uh, if I wanted to change the direction and uh, make it go straight to the side or right or left or diagonal, I could do that. Uh, let me slow it down just to show you the change in speed. But I'm also going to change the size of the bars to much smaller. And I'm going to remove that fixation dot in there. Uh, smaller bars, slower speed. And that's our OPK exercise.